Located 1750 k's from the east coast of Australia, the Pacific nation of Vanuatu is a beautiful tropical paradise perfect for divers and water lovers. As a diving and ocean enthusiast myself, I have done a lot of snorkeling, free and scuba diving over the time I've lived here and I want to share my experiences. So let's see what these nine stunning dive sites around Vanuatu have to offer. Starting in Pango, which is located southeast on the main island of Afate, it is only a 10 minute drive from Port Vila town. There is a dive resort here, South Pacific Memories, where you can hire dive gear and even get your dive certificate. As for the dive site itself, there are many reef fish, but the coral is still on the road to recovery from a Category 5 tropical cyclone pamp. But the lack of reef does not deter the marine life, especially at night. The next place is where I have done the most of my snorkeling and diving, and that is Havana Harbour, located in West Afade, around a 45 minute drive from town. It's very sheltered here, and there are many coral bommies right offshore. If you dive a little deeper, the reef is super healthy and you'll be greeted by some hungry red snappers, which we feed chicken carcasses to. Dive anywhere in Havana and you will not be disappointed. Across from the mainland in Havana, you will notice two islands. On the left is La Lepa and on the right is Mosso. Starting with La Lepa, which is a quick boat ride away, there are many coves towered by tall cliffs facing the open ocean. The reef is also stunning with a colourful array of coral and schools of reef fish. Another pro for this dive site is that it's very secluded and only has boat access. Therefore, it's highly likely for no one else to be around. Across the channel, we're now at Mosso. If you go through the channel between Mosso and Afate, you may see spinner dolphins riding the wake of the bow. And now diving into the water, it can start off pretty deep, but as you make your way towards the shore, coral bommies will start to appear and schools of fish will surround you. Also keep an eye out for turtles and octopuses. On the other side, I've only snorkel and free dive, but that doesn't stop you from getting a full experience of the marine life. I've even seen a dugon here. From La Lepa and Mosso, you will see yet another island, a bit further out. This is Hat Island, also known as Chief Roy Martyr's Domain. As for the reef, absolutely mind-blowing. Large plate coral, thousands of fish, it's a magical underwater ballet. When coming to this dive site, the best conditions are early in the morning before the wind picks up. Now for some dive sites on the other islands. In Espirito Santo, I've been to Million Dollar Point, which is amazing. And I've dived the SS President Coolidge, which is one of the most accessible wreck dives, and it does not disappoint. With artifacts from World War II and flourishing marine life, if you visit the country's largest island, this is a highly recommended dive. To access the site, you can go by boat or just off the shore. On another island down south, Tana is more renowned for its most accessible active volcano. However, the Blue Cave is another photogenic site to visit and it's a fun place to snorkel or dive. Inside the cave, there are a few schools of goat fish and sweepers. However, outside of the cave are reefs just as worthy of your attention.
Back to Afate, off from Mele, is Hideaway Island. A cute, small island with protected marine reserve. The coral is flourishing and big fish swarm around everywhere. Oh, and we can't forget the underwater post office. Up in North Afate is a secluded location known as Top Rock. With tropical jungle walkways and scenic views up top the cliffs, this snorkeling site is the perfect piece of paradise. There is plenty of coral and reef fish to see just snorkeling. And if you pop your head out the water, you will see beautiful coral cliffs. There is even a little cave you can go into. Well, that concludes the top 9 dive sites in Vanuatu that I've been to. There are still so many other places around that you can visit that I haven't mentioned or been to myself. So what are you waiting for? Pack that dive gear and let's go splash!